the most devastating natural disaster. NASA official reveals the true scope of the asteroid threat in his report. This is Sputnik News. While only asteroids on a direct collision course with Earth pose a real threat to our planet, humanity should nevertheless prepare for this eventuality. This is according to a NASA planetary defense officer. And we have been directly hit. We've had, we have scars on Earth showing all this. Recently discovered one off the coast of uh, northern Scotland. We have discovered the Manicougan in Canada, in Quebec, Canada. We also have direct strikes in Arizona. Lots of them also, 50, over 50 direct strikes, strikes in uh, Australia. We also have found recently asteroid strikes in, uh, these are all direct. They're 90 degree, you know, pounding. Uh, in uh, southwest Egypt, also in Iraq, and they say that those were about 3000 BC that created the demise of the Pharaohic kingdoms as well and changed the climate there. Besides the fact that after the strike, they had earthquakes and volcanic activity. So, yeah, uh, the uh, direct collision does cause threats, problems, huge problems. As scientists strove to devise a way, they say, to deal with these gigantic rocks hurtling through space in the vicinity of our Earth, NASA Planetary Defense Officer Lindley Johnson warned that mankind should not worry about the expense incurred in the pursuit of this goal. In an interview with journalist Brian Walsh for his recently released book, End Times, the paper says that asteroids might not be top of the list of threats humanity has to contend with, but that the danger posed by them should not be ignored. Quote, in the order of things people should be worried about, near-Earth objects isn't highest on the list, but it does have the potential to be the most devastating natural disaster known to man, Johnson says. He suggested that allocating additional funds towards dealing with this so far hypothetical threat should be prudent because all the money would be worthwhile if it prevents an event that could take hundreds of billions of dollars to recover from, if we are even able to recover from this. And he says it's definitely worth government spending a bit of their treasure to find these things ahead of time because you cannot do anything unless you find them. Previously, Johnson pointed out that while there are plenty of asteroids passing in the vicinity of our planet, it is the ones on a direct collision course with Earth that would pose a real threat, and mankind should prepare for that eventuality. News of this development came as NASA and the ESA prepared to launch a joint mission to a binary asteroid Didymus, meaning twin in Greek, Didymus 65803, in order to test a new drilling method that might allow humans to alter the trajectories of dangerous space rocks. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.